Okay, Amir, welcome to the room. Uh, our first two questions will come from Mike Griffith and Mark Weiser. Uh, hey, hey, Amir, uh, thanks for doing this tonight. Uh, can you just tell us uh, how are you feeling and um, what's it like been, been like trying to ease back from an ankle injury? Um, I'm feeling good, you know. It's always, you know, it's, it sucks, you know, having an injury, anything pop up, but it's always good to be back out there with the guys, you know, playing and just getting better. Amir, how are you guys defensively um, focused on stopping the quarterback run better than you guys did last week? Uh, obviously, they have a quarterback that can also, uh, you know, get a lot of yards with his feet. Um, we're really just – it's the typical game plan. We're focused on being the best us we can be, you know, looking at their plays and the things they're doing, just focus on how we can stop doing the, stop the things they do to be the best us and, and prepare the right way, I guess I should say. Well, how do you guys get better stopping the, the quarterback run? Repeat the question, please. How do you guys get better stopping the quarterback run? Um, I mean, what we practice every week is just the fact of execution. So executing the, the, the typical things we do in a better way are the only ways we can stop them. Let's go to Chip Towers and then David Pascal. Yeah, Amir, I'm curious. Uh, obviously, you guys watch a lot of film. You study a lot. When you watch a team like Tennessee, you know, I mean, we can see the number of 70-yard, number of 80-yards, number of 60-yard passes they've had. Is there Are there oohs and ahs, you know, when you guys are watching that stuff, or is it more, you know, studious than that? Does, does Coach Adai run – you know, I'm just trying to get a mental picture of when you guys are going over the opponent, and uh, obviously with this team you're seeing a bunch of really explosive plays. Um, we're just going to focus on, I guess, doing everything, basically doing our jobs. A lot of times we're teams that messed up with us. It's not necessarily doing their jobs right or letting the fastball get to them and not being ready. So we're just focusing on being prepared, having our eyes in the right place so we can react and do everything we need to the right and proper way. But in the meeting itself, is there talk about, I mean, it, are you impressed sometimes about what some teams are doing versus other teams and talking about how different it might be? Oh, yes, sir. It's, I mean, it's definitely a different team schematically. You know, watching some other teams, of course, they have played them better. So we've definitely been watching those games where teams succeeded and stopping doing things that they do and taking notes and wondering how we can, like, bring those things into our scheme and um, help ourselves out. Thank you. Amir, how different has practice been this week? Lewis was talking about it yesterday, about just having to prepare for Tennessee and how fast they go and, and what practice was going to – has it been different? Have, have, can you tell this is a team unlike any that you've played just because how they lead the nation and plays run per minute and how they want to just keep going? <laughs> I mean, yes, sir. I mean, every, every week is always something new that we always try to focus on and lock in on, and they are a fast team. So being able to prepare and handle those things the right way, the only way we can succeed the ways we want to. Let's go to Jake Rowe and then uh, Ryan Curley. Uh, kind of along those same lines, Amir, uh, I, have seen, I asked Lewis yesterday kind of about, you know, when you see something different like that, when you see how fast they go, kind of put me inside of his head. Do you, do you, do you kind of get worried about it? Do you kind of focus up a little bit? Do you feel challenged? Um, how, did it, how does it kind of register with you? that, you know, Tennessee's going to do that. And, and he also mentioned how it kind of made him nervous that practice was going to be so different because they were going to run two scout teams. Is that what you're seeing kind of this week to, to make it go fast? I mean, yes, sir. I mean, when, when teams do things like that, it's really a challenge because they're saying that they can go faster than you and execute faster than you. So it's, it's, it's really, really allowing us to just lock in and hone our assignments more to be able to get a call and play that, get to the ball and get a call and do everything we need to in a quicker way to be really just a better team. So, so it's actually, it's been pretty fun practicing this week. Of course, it's been, you know, it's been tempo because they're a tempo team, but it's been fun. Amir, how's uh, George been doing in practice, George Pickens? And have you gone up against him at all? What, what are you seeing out of him? Um, George, it's, it's, it's good having George back. You know, he had to deal with his, his fair share of what he had going on with his injuries, but He's definitely worked his way back in, and I, 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 like I've always said, I love Garden George. He, he's, he gets you better, truly gets you better. Like that's a, he's a freak of an athlete. So having him back out there, it's been, it's been good, and it's been making us better. Let's go to Jed May and then Connor Riley. Amir, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you're on, you know, the punt, punt block, punt return team, but just what have you seen from, from Dan Jackson as a guy, kind of as a quarterback of that unit? You know, Kirby was saying he, he made, he made the check to the to the punt block the other day. Just well, what, what is it like having him as the leader of that group? 
um, with Dirty Dan, you know, we, we honestly have been preparing for that, that situation all week. So it was just when it happened, we were all ready to he, – he's, he's the head honcho of the group at his position, but we've been working on that play really all week. So when it happened, it was kind of like, okay, boom, 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 boom. And then when he made the call, it was, it was good to have to execute it and it went exactly how we wanted it to. Hey, I mean, I wanted to ask you about Nolan Smith, obviously very vocal guy. What does his leadership look like and what is he like, obviously, on the practice field, but then in the huddle on game days? Um, Nolan Smith, he always brings the energy to the guys. You know, anytime something bad happens, he's the first one. Hey, head up, head up. Come on, let's keep going, keep going. So it's honestly, it's very good to have him out there as a leader on the, on the outside linebacker group and also as a leader of defense. You know, he's he's a strong, physical guy. And just to have him there, being able to make calls, give a call and be able to support his brothers when, every, when things are good and when they're down. Like you see when people make plays, he's one of the first people there to celebrate with him. And, you know, that's a, that's a big thing as a teammate, like having that there and that energy. I feel like that's what brings us all together and closer. It makes us play better. When, you, when we're connected and be able to love and play for each other, it makes everything a lot better. Let's go to uh, Palmer Toms and then Jack Duffy. Yeah, Mayor, Coach mentioned that Dominic Blaylock has also been working on, spe- on a scout team. You know, what have you noticed from him in, in, as he's making his way back to the field? I'm um, really the same thing. You know, Dom's an amazing athlete. So having him back out there, being able to help us get better and give us a good look, it's just awesome. And, you know, seeing him also be out, be back out there after his, his fair share of injuries is good, you know, seeing somebody come back from that. So it's been awesome having him back out there. He's been making, us, making some plays and giving us a great look. Hey, Amir, I mean, we were talking earlier about the quick pace of play of Tennessee. Is there any way the defense is preparing to try and slow that down, or, or do you just expect to be facing that all game long? Um, it's just going to come down to execution, you know, being able to, being able to just play our plays and handle everything. If, if, if they're going fast and we can stop it, then, I mean, hopefully that can slow them down and we can be able to put, put the game in our hands. We can't, we just, our goal is not to let them control the game. Let's go to, uh, let's see, Tyler and then Matt DeBerry. Hey, Amir, you've been such a big part of this defense for um, the majority of the season. How tough was it whenever you went down with injury, uh, just mentally, just trying to get yourself um, um, ready to come back and stay prepared? Um, I mean, of course it sucked. You know, anybody, everybody hates being hurt, but the fact of being here around my brothers made everything so much better. You know, just I feel like that, that love and connection from the group that we have like, it made me not even – I spent that time really just learning, getting playbook-wise, just being able to support them and help people out because I love, I, like, I like, be like being on the sideline, giving me another chance to just really be able to see and look at everything and also just help people out, make calls, and see what they're doing wrong and make them better players. What if you gotten better at as a player in your first day until right now? Could you repeat, sir? You're going in and out. What if you developed as a player or from your first day until now? Matt, we've got a bad connection. We're going to move on past you. Uh, if anybody's got a, any kind of a follow-up, we've got a couple more minutes with Amir. Yeah, Amir, just real quick, where does Dirty Dan come from? <laughs> the nickname. I don't know if you've ever seen SpongeBob, but it, <laughs> it was the closest. I'm Dirty Dan. I'm Dirty Dan. So we always call it Dan Dirty Dan. This is, this is a good nickname that we gave him. Okay. Important information. I appreciate that. 